Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ali. I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So in today's video, I have for you guys a shop my stash, get ready with me. So let's go ahead and get into picking out all of this makeup. Okay guys, so I just wanted to do a little shop my stash, get ready with me. So let's see, what have I not used in a long time on my channel? I think it would have to be, we'll use this CoverGirl Matte True Blend Matte Made Foundation. Okay, I'm gonna use this for my pores just because I can't get over it. But something I still need to try out is this Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer. And then I don't want anything too drying for under my eyes, but I hardly ever use my CoverGirl concealer and then we really need to use this up so let's go ahead and get this used up blush bronzer highlight setting powder you know what I never use this little Becca one this little soft light blurring powder so let's use that you know what let's use this one makeup revolution bronzer in this shade too warm and for blush what blush do I not really reach for? Let's use this one. Ciate London Marbled Light Desk Blush. And for highlights, use the Becca one. Okay, and so for eyeshadow palettes, I really want to play with. I have like all my little elf bites eyeshadow palettes. I really want to play with my hot jalapeno one, but I need something. Let's go ahead and mix that one with let's mix it with carnival candy because i'm gonna need this cream shade you know i haven't used let's use the elf brow pomade and we'll go ahead and use the elf brow pencil and we'll try this believe it beauty setting gel let's do a brown liner because i think that'd be really pretty let's use these glam wispies from um I forget the brand. I'll try to find it on TJ Maxx. But these are these Glam Wispies. Glam Wispies. And I believe it's like the Lashes for Days brand. I'm going to talk about this in my favorites. But I think that this will be really pretty in the waterline. So let's use that. But for tight lining. Oh, I'll have it up here too. For tight lining, we'll use the brown one. Something new will look really good with this. So let's just go with why is this upside down let's go with this liner in cafe and then, i don't ever use this let's use this sugar rush sugar coat i really haven't been using any of my matte lipsticks but fall is around the corner so we will be getting more use out of those little buddies so yeah this is all the makeup we picked out right here that back there is for my favorites but this is what we picked out right here so let's go ahead and apply okay, it so as you guys saw what we picked out i did oh, i added something in and I cannot remember, ah, I remember what I was going to add in. Hold on. Okay, I was going to add in this little contour, this little LA Girl concealer, but I'm going to use it for contour. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take my little scrunchy scrunch and pull my hair back. First things first, let's check to see if these brows need, these brows need grooming. If you're curious about this dress, it's a, it's a dress, not a shirt. Um, you can catch that in my Shein haul coming up. Um, probably two separate videos because this dress came today and then I have more products arriving on Monday, but it's not everything I ordered. So I should have everything in by the 24th. Okay, so the brows do need grooming. So I'm gonna go ahead and groom those. I'll actually let you guys watch me groom them and I'll just be through so we can see how I do it.
Okay, now that brows are done, let's go ahead and go in and do them. So the first thing, you, as you guys saw, the first thing we're going in with is our e.l.f. Ultra, Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. And I have mine in the shade Neutral Brown, which is actually a little bit red if I remember correctly. And we're just gonna use this to outline. Okay, and now to finish off our brows, I'll be using the e.l.f. Brow and eyeliner cream, the liner and brow cream in the shade medium brown, and that's just what it looks like. And then I'm going to be taking my Pro Fusion angled eyebrow brush, and we're just gonna go ahead and finish filling those in. This is so creamy. So now that brows are done, let's go ahead and prime our face so that way it can set in while we're doing our eyes. I actually forgot to prime before, so. The first thing I'm gonna go in with is my Essence No Por No Problem Primer Essence. Wait, what? This is Touch and Soul No Problem Prime Essence. This is really liquid, you guys. I don't even squeeze it really, really hard. Like I barely squeeze. Cause if you squeeze too much, like it's just gonna start drip, drip, dripping everywhere. I always think I look so crazy with just brows on. So the next thing we're going to go in and prime with is the Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer. This is healthy glow pore minimizing effect with vitamin complex and cranberry water, you guys. I haven't used this since the very first time I used it. And I don't even remember what video that is now. I'll have to go back and find it and then I'll link the video up above. And I don't think I was a fan of it. Like it does make your skin super pretty and glowy, but I don't think I really actually noticed um, pore minimizing from it. So we shall see. Okay then you guys, and as always, let's go ahead and go in with some Skin and Company Truffle Therapy, Truffle Therapy Illuminating Skin Refresh Mist, Radiant Dew. Really trying to use this up because I literally have like that much left in there. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take our CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer and I have mine in the shade Golden Natural. And we're just gonna apply this to the lids to prime them. So I'm taking my Lexi Beauty sponge. This is the, I don't know, I'll put the name on the screen. This is the only one that applies foundation cute and what other liquid products. I thought that that concealer had more coverage for some reason, so um, let's add a little bit more. I was getting hot and I was tempted to turn the AC down so it could come on more, but I didn't because I didn't want all the sounds in my video, but it just came on. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the e.l.f. eye tapes. I have a lot of e.l.f. in today's video. Okay, so now that we have that on, let's go ahead and we're gonna take the Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette. This one is in called Carnival Candy. And I'm gonna take this matte shade right here and set the list down. So now the next shade I'm gonna take, just for transition color, is this shade right here. And we are just gonna go ahead and start blending that into our crease. And then we're actually gonna be done with this palette just until it's time to highlight the brow bone. But now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This little olive greeny color. Let's take this lavish tapered blending brush. So now what I want to do just to deepen up that outer corner is I'm going to take this dark forest green color and we're just going to start putting that in the outer corner. Use this Real Techniques base shadow brush. I'm going to try to keep this really low as well. Really low. Literally just for the outer corner. Go back in with ah, that 
olive green color. This is, it's actually more of like a bell pepper green. Looks olive green when you mix it with the brown. That's all that matters. Where did my brush go? Blend, blend, blend. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna take this green and apply it all over my lid. I'm just gonna take this Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadow brush. Okay, and now I'm gonna take that same shade and I'm gonna spray it just a little bit, just to get the full effect, just to get what it looks like when you swatch it with your finger. So I just sprayed it just one time. I'm gonna start packing this on. There we go. Okay, so now we need some more of that olive green just to start blending out these edges. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that forest green on the outer edge. Start blending that line. Don't want any harsh lines. Use. Yeah. And then I'm gonna use my finger and I'm gonna go in with this yellow or this gold. And I'm gonna apply that right towards the inner part right here. Use my finger with the green. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brown Araceli eyeliner and or an Ojos Perfectos eyeliner in the shade Café and we're going to do a little wing. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the other eye off camera and then we'll be right back. Okay guys, so now that that is done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this e.l.f. mascara. This is our lash extending mascara. First, I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. I'm gonna go ahead really fast and tight line with my LA Girl Glide Gel Liner in the shade brown. Brown, brown. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the e.l.f. Um, extending mascara. Okay, so now that that is on, I am gonna go ahead and go in with my Glam Wispies from Lashes for Days, and I'm just gonna go ahead and poppity pop these on. Okay, so that took <laughs> forever, but okay, so as I, as I was trying to clean the glue off these lashes, I kept messing them up, and so I was like, I was like you know what? I'm just gonna get rid of them. So I threw, so I took them all off of here, threw them all in a pile. And then as I started putting them up, they ended up sticking together and like double layering. And I was like, look how pretty these look when they're double layered. So I put them on double layered and they're super duper long and glam. So now what I wanna do is let's go ahead and get into the face makeup. Finally, after 3000 years of applying lashes. Okay, so what we're gonna use is, as you guys seen, my CoverGirl Matte to Me True Blend Foundation, and I have mine in the shade M10. Let me just shake this up because it's been a minute. It took three pumps, I don't know why, I just did, so. Um, oh, I need a wet the sponge, it's okay. Going in with the sponge. This might match, it might be a little bit too dark, but between going to Abilene this past weekend and mowing the yard on Tuesday, I got a little bit brown, or as Lizzie would, Lizzie would, or what would Lizzie do would say is a little brown biscuit. Why do I not remember the coverage not being that good on this? Maybe just because I've tried other foundations since I've used this one, or because I have more to cover up right now. I don't know what is going on, but I do not remember the coverage not being that good. So, going in with two more pumps. Why is it not sticking to my nose, my Lanta? Like, oh, I've had that foundation for a while. Not sure how I feel about this anymore. It's a little bit itchy. The coverage isn't as great as I remember. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go in with my CoverGirl concealer and just start highlighting my face and covering up. And maybe this will help me cover up my nose. I don't know.
don't know how I'm feeling about this yet. I just don't like I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and cream contour with our LA Girl bronzer or concealer. I'm gonna take this Japanesque 718 brush. This is their domed, small domed powder brush, I believe, and we're just gonna start blending that in. Okay, so now I'm going to take this Japanesque, and this is their large all over shadow brush, but let's be real. Ooh. Even though I think I apply a little bit, I always end up applying way too much. Let's blend out these creases. And now, we're gonna go ahead and take the Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder, and we're just gonna apply this. It's a little peachy all over our face. Like, I don't remember it being that peachy. We're gonna apply that color on the eyes, though, or on the face. Okay, so this definitely adds a glow to your whole face. <laughs> what in the heck? Soft light blurring powder. It says nothing about being glowy. Nothing at all. I mean, not that it looks bad on the skin because it doesn't. It does not look bad on the skin. It's just, holy moly. That is glowy. Like I have a glow all over my entire face. Maybe I'm the only one who didn't get the memo that that was a glowy powder. I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is so funny to me. Let's go ahead and add some Makeup Revolution Mega Bronze Bronzer in the shade O2. This is just to bronze because. See, this blush is supposed to be glowy and now I don't even know I need a matte blush, but I don't even think I own a matte blush. So we're just gonna go in with a little bit of this one. You gotta be careful with this blush because this will go real dark on you real quick. Or pigmented, should I say. So now I'm going in with my Becca Highlighter Shimmering Skin Perfector. Is that, is that, that what this is? Oh, Soft Light Blurring Powder. This is a Shimmering Skin Perfector in Vanilla Quartz. Not that we need a whole lot more glow, but we'll just run with it. Since we picked it out. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish up the eyes. So in the waterline, I'm actually gonna, gonna take this LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner, and this one is in the shade Screamin'. Gotta sharpen this real quick. Okay, so now we're going back in with mascara. We're going back in with that e.l.f. Lash Extending Mascara. I'm just gonna quote the bottom lashes. I'm not sure why I never use that mascara, but it's really good for the bottom lashes. So now let's go ahead and finish up our lippy lips. And I think we'll be done after we curl and set. Oh, so we're going in with the lip liner in the shade Cafe from LA Girl. Okay, now we're going to go in with this Sugar Rush Sugar Coat. And this one's in the shade Cupcake. Okay, guys, I just cannot with the matte lip right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab me a lip gloss. Okay, then, so now that we have like that, we're gonna go ahead and use the shade Let It Go from Essence. Oh, that's so much. Much better. I had to go in and add some depth to these lips because it was a little bit, just a little bit too nude for me. So I did go ahead and take the e.l.f. Deep Brown Lip Liner. But you guys, this is a completed look. Guys, do not sleep on these little e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadows just because they're $3. This is worth, I would pay 5 to $10 for these little quads with the quality that they are. These I recommend over their bigger palettes because I did try recommend these
over their bigger palettes because I did have the opposite to tract palette and that one I don't know if I got a dud because I feel like everybody raves about the opposite to tract palette and I'm just like I don't feel like that's worth the 14 bucks 10 7 to 10 okay but 14 no I just I, I I really feel like I may have got a dud now back to this foundation why do I remember this having more coverage maybe because that's back whenever i liked lighter coverage i don't know i like glam but i also like light coverage so maybe back when this first came out it was pretty full coverage to me but i kind of had to build it up a lot i mean i used up about five to six pumps of this just to get the coverage that i wanted and yeah so yeah this blush is still so pretty like i said you do have to be very light-handed with this blush because it can look this color on your cheeks real fast if you're not careful so next thing this highlighter i didn't add too much of it but i'm glad i picked it up because i forgot to do my inner corner my inner corner can't leave that nakey cannot leave that nakey but yeah, this is actually a really good highlighter and it when you apply more, it will get blinding. You apply less, you can really make this to your liking. And again, this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Vanilla Quartz. So that's not too shabby. This you also have to be very light handed with. If you're any lighter than me, I would go with shade number one because it's gonna be way too warm, way too dark. This Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder I did not expect it to be like a highlighter. I don't remember it being like that. Maybe, I don't know. I got this around December. And so I don't know, I haven't used it that much, but I'll try it out again. Like, I don't know, maybe I used too much because it doesn't look that glowy under my eyes. Well, I mean, mm, mm. not as glowy as it looks on my cheeks though. I don't know, I didn't expect this to have the glow that it had. This right here, still gonna see how it wears with this foundation. My pores look good, but I'm pretty sure it's because of the primer essence. The lips was a struggle blush, the lashes were a struggle blush, but I'm so glad that I double stacked these Glam Whiskies. Like, mm, perfect for this look. Oh, almost forgot to set my brows. This is too light for me. This is the Believe Beauty Brow Gel in light brown but i like buying a lighter brow gel sometimes just in case my eyebrows do come out a little too dark this will kind of tone them down so i have darker brow gels and i have lighter brow gels and then i have on spot brow gels and it's all just in case my eyebrows are too dark my eyebrows are too light and when my eyebrows are the perfect color but other than that, you guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I told you guys when I hauled this that I was going to do a makeup look with this. And this look was definitely inspired by a few other... Bryson. This look was definitely inspired by a few Instagrammers slash YouTubers that I follow on Instagram and YouTube. So yeah, this look was definitely inspired by them. And I'm pretty sure it's very similar to one of the girls. But I mean, and all inspiration comes from somewhere. Just be sure that you're always shouting that person out that you at least get inspo from. So that's what I'm doing. But yeah, I love you guys. But always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button. And also leave down in the comment box below more stuff that you would like to see from me. Give me some video suggestions. I really want to start planning out my videos because right now I just kind of go like, oh, what I feel like filming today is kind of how I do it. And I would love to be more organized. So please give me video suggestions down below. Beauty Lifestyle Bible, you guys know. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Remember, I love you guys, but Jesus loves you more. Bye guys. Mwah.